and welcome to episode two of our dark arts fortnight so what we're looking at is everything click team can do that is nothing to do with making games and today is probably my favorite episode although i haven't filmed the other episodes yet so i have no idea what they're going to be like but this is a tool that i guarantee almost every single one of you does not know that click team can do and as soon as you find out that this that it can do this it's going to revolutionize how you see click team because click team stops being a tool that maybe can do a few applications maybe help a little bit of time help you save you a little bit of time here and there and it becomes a revolutionary tool that can make you save hundreds of hours of time depending on what you do so without further ado I'm going to introduce you to the Control X object. This thing is amazing. Let's get started. So, what does the Control X object do? Well, it just basically pretends to be your mouse and keyboard. How can you use that? Well, let's have a look. So, I'm going to start a new project. The biggest thing we want to do for this Control X object is have a counter. And this is going to be really important. In fact, that's way too big. This is going to be really important because when you're using um, a fake mouse and keyboard, you want to make sure that you control when the buttons are being pressed. So the counter is really going to help with that. And we want to download the Control X object, which I've already got. Um, but you might need to use the installer, which I think it is in the extension thing, the manager, I believe. Let's open it up. Let's have a look. Should be there. Control X, there we are, Control X object. And you don't want the Windows 95 version unless you want to go back in time, who knows. Right, oh, it always takes ages. All right, this is a Control X object. Now, like many objects, this won't show on screen. So if I run the application now, there's nothing there. And we want to see this in action. So what I want to do is that this, every uh, second I want to add one to timer okay, it's really important that we have a beat here um, because the computer will do things really quickly and with keyboards it will not go down well if it's happening really quickly so what I want to do is I want to uh, when the counter uh, compare expression to value oh, I never understand this used to be simple but they've added extra bits compared to the counter to a value there we go so when the counter is equal to five i want to simulate um a pressing of i don't know um five or something i don't know whatever to do that you want to um simulate keyboard simulate key down that's you pressing it down right and five okay and then just copy that because then you want to simulate it being pressed up right that's you releasing the key okay and paste five right and there's going to be a problem with that i'm going to do this deliberately because you'll see that there's a big problem with this but if i um, get an excel spreadsheet up which i've got here and i've got this thing going on because what we're going to do is use it for something else later but let's just have what we've got at the moment so let's run the application. I'm going to click into this cell here. And when it hits five, oh, okay. And you can see there that it managed to do an awful lot of fives, right? And we only wanted one five, okay? So what we want to do is as soon as it's done the button press, you want to add one to the counter, right? So we want to add one to the counter, get rid of the event, okay? And you can do it so it only happens once. And so we could insert only happens once, okay? Um, but I prefer just moving it away from five, right? So you could jump straight to six. Not quite sure why I do that. The other thing I prefer to do is instead of having to write five twice, which gets really irritating, what I do is I put an alterable string in there. So I set the alterable string to five. And I just double click on that. And you can't do this with the free version, but you want to make sure that you do the alterable string first. And then you can just import the alterable string there. And so we push the alterable string down and then lift the alterable string up. So you're only writing it once. Okay. 
and if you need to you can just copy this again and then like just start again with it and put them in the right order if you if you haven't got that that what's it called the event list editor um, which some people don't okay so we've we've got that five down let's just run it again so let's click in here I'm glad I didn't do ten now it would have been nice and it's just one five how cool is that right but let's say um, we've got a, a field like a form to fill out right and I'm not gonna say what websites but there are some websites that you've got to fill out a lot of details right and it gets kind of boring to fill out loads of details right and so what you need to do on those websites is like sit there and copy it from one place copy it into the other copy it copy it copy it copy it right say it's your name age address or whatever right now that's that gets tedious that gets really really boring having to sit there and do that okay that is not not the way of doing it with click team you can do it all automatically now for simplicity i'm just gonna use string object here and i'm gonna have my name there i'm gonna have my age uh no idea 38 i think and my favorite food is obviously pizza but you can imagine we've got this information from a csv file okay it doesn't have to be from click team okay because actually if i'm typing in here i might as well type it into the spreadsheet right so we can imagine we're getting this data from somewhere and maybe i'll do in fact i think i'm planning to do um getting information from apis and stuff like basic stuff um, so you can imagine you're getting this information from somewhere okay how are we going to get this information from here to our spreadsheet well there's a very very simple tool very simple way of doing that and what we do is we use the clipboard object clipboard allows us to send a text to our clipboard so we can send the text from our first um, um, ultrable string where are we text of I, I, I always get muddled up with these ultrable string there we are so we get the ultrable string from that save it to the clipboard well how are we going to get it to the um, to the uh, ex uh, uh, Excel file well I can then use the um, control X object in fact we need to make sure we do this first so we need to put it to the clipboard first and then we want to paste it okay so pasting is going to take a few key presses and what I normally do is break this up a little bit and so this it will be at seven okay because it jumps straight to six straight away uh, oh I want to keep that uh, okay <laughs> so at five I want to push the control button down so I need to delete the up and I want to push the control button that down so I'm just going to type control and it knows what that is so I'm going to push the control button down okay then I'm going to press uh, push the V down right because the on Windows the uh, to paste something is control and V right so I push the V down and then at 9 I'm going to lift the control and you've got to be careful to make sure you lift the control because if you don't lift it the computer will think you've still got it down for a very long time if that ever happens and you know it, your computer goes a bit mad just press the control yourself and as soon as you lift it on the keyboard it will undo it okay so what have we got we've got us pushing my name to the clipboard then we're pushing down the control then pushing V to paste it then lifting the control up let's see that in action and so let's go to the name field paste done how cool is that right so I've just pasted that from click team and you can just repeat this for the others so it will be 11 13 15 17 19 21 Oop. type the right thing and then we want to do string 2 and string three and I've been an idiot because I need to move down as well oh uh, so I'm gonna copy this in and 
this is where it gets a bit annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, so I need to go down, and that actually down is really easy because you just type in the word down, right? On forms on the internet, if you were to do this on a website, um, tab is your friend. Uh, tab normally for accessibility is um, to move from different um, fields. So you would normally put tab. Tab on Excel though moves um, to the right, which is not what we want. So if you're using this for a web form, which may be against terms of service depending on where you're doing it. So just be a bit careful. Let's see if this works. <clears throat> so it should paste in the name at seven now and then go down and then the age and then go down and then the food. My hands are off the keyboard. It's doing that completely by itself. How cool is that? And as I said, we can imagine we're getting this information from somewhere. So I would, I, I, I would never admit to this, but if I was to do this, I would have a massive Excel spreadsheet full of information and I would want it to be imported onto a website. So I'd have this thing running and just filling in all of the fields. And as I said, tab is your friend. Tab will get you around all the form fields. Sometimes you'll need to press tab a few times, which is absolutely fine. And that's it. That is how you use the control X object. And it is an incredibly powerful tool because you can simulate mouse clicks. So if there's um, a interaction, say on YouTube, where you've got to double click it to open up the um, the importer or whatever, you can simulate the mouse clicks and get it to do that. Um, is it the best way of doing things on the internet? Well, I would say the best way is to use a, an API. And so um, YouTube and other websites will have their own a APIs, but sometimes APIs cost money and sometimes the learning curve, the learning curve on an API, sorry, I had a cough there, um, is quite steep. Um, and you need to know an awful lot about JavaScript and all sorts of things to be able to understand it. So this is a really, really quick and easy way of automating tasks. If you imagine you're sitting there moving data from one place to another, it could be part of your job. You could have this set up and it can do it for you and it will do it way quicker. And the good thing is if you go, oh, that's not very quick, you just change this, just change this number to, I don't know, let's make it twice as quick. Okay, so if you've got one of those bosses who go, oh, I want efficiency, well, there we go. It will do it twice as quick now, Chris. 38 pizza there we are you've just got yourself a promotion because you work twice as hard now <laughs> twice as quick how cool is that um so this is part of our dark arts fortnight where we are focused on non-gaming stuff if you've got something that click team does that you are dying to let other people know about um, chances are I've used the object before even if I haven't I will learn it because I want your suggestions of stuff that's nothing to do with um, games that click team can do we had to, a comment I think yesterday talking about the um, web object which it would be quite fun to look at um, I have used it a few times the problem is that it's a very weird browser let's just put it that way so you can open websites with click team within click team um, but it doesn't always work the best, is my experience. But we'll have a play around with it, maybe. But that's it for today. So if you've liked this video, click like. If you want to see more from us, click subscribe. And I'll see you again for another video tomorrow. Thank you very much.